Okay, so here's my explanation for uh, number five. Number five. Um, here we go. So number five is 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 only complicated in the sense of you got to understand what a prism is. A prism is two parallel sides of some polygon shape, square, rectangle, trapezoid, pentagon, whatever. Uh, so two parallel sides, uh, two parallel bases, I should say, and the sides are all made up of rectangles. So if you look at number five, well, the bases are the triangles. This is a triangular prism. So the bases are the triangle. I'll just highlight one of them. Uh, the bases are the triangles. So maybe I should shoot that in red. Uh, here's one of the triangles, and here it, and it makes up the base. There's two of them. Uh, and for total area, TA for total area of a prism, total area is equal to uh, the lateral area. Remember, the lateral area is the perimeter times the height plus two base areas. Now, as I said before, this is a triangular prism. Uh, I always look for the rectangles. Where are the rectangles? Hey, and the, I got three rectangles there and I got two triangles. So the two triangles are the base. Uh, notice on number seven, I got two trapezoids, the rest are rectangles. So that's a trapezoidal prism. So I need the perimeter of the triangle, the triangle. Notice I already got one side, one side is 10, but this side right here is not listed. But if you notice, if you look straight here, well, that side's eight, so therefore this side is eight. And this side is also not listed. But if you look to the opposite side, which is six, well, then it's six. So I have a perimeter of 10, eight, and six. 10 plus eight, 18 plus six, 24. So I got a perimeter of 24. Okay, I'm gonna erase some of the mess I just made. So I got a perimeter of 24, and now I need a height. Now, remember, we define the height of a prism as the distance between the two bases. A little bit hard to see. This one messes with your eyes a little bit, but that would be the distance between the two triangles. I got a triangle here, and I got a triangle here. And the distance between those two triangles is six. So that would be times six. Plus two times the base area. Now the base area is one of the triangles, one of the triangles. I don't need to do both. I just need to do one of the triangle and then double it, right? That's the times two. So the triangle right here that we can see, uh, I could have used the other one, but I'm using this one. Why? Because, well, you can see that it's a right triangle. And remember the area of a triangle, I'm doing base area, not, not base, but base area would be base eight times the height, six divided by two. Eight times six, 48 divided by two is 24. So it'll be two times 24. If you're really thinking ahead, well, that two in front of that B, we cancel out that two that we divide when we do the area of the triangle, but that's okay. And now it's just simply a matter of doing the math. Uh, six times four, 24, carry your two, six times two, 12 plus two is four. Uh, double, I mean, I, if I were really thinking, I would have just wrote 48, but uh, plus 48, then add those two together. 8 plus 4 is 12. 4 plus 4 is 8 plus 1 is 9. So I'm getting 192. We're doing total area, so it's in square units. So I'm getting uh, 190. What am I trying to write? 192 kilometers squared. That's what the answer is on all of these, right? Number eight's done the same way. Uh, number eight, notice it's it's the way that we would like our triangular prisms to look where the base is the triangle it's on the bottom or the top uh, number five it's just the same thing it's just been tilted over it's different numbers but it's been tilted over so the key here to understanding this is understanding it's a prism finding the two parallel sides those are the bases uh, and then uh, go to town on that formula right there all right so hopefully that gave you the uh, explanation you need i do want to point out one thing that you guys, no one, uh, it was actually my other geometry class pointed it out here. What happened to my pen? Uh, and what they pointed out was the fact that uh, on the lateral area of the pyramids, uh, two of those shapes are not regular uh, 
uh, regular polygons on the bases. Notice 13 and 16, I have squares, but 14 and 15, they're not squares, they're rectangles. I haven't looked at your test yet. I, I will here in just a second. I just want to get this video out real quick. Uh, so we got a problem with that one. Um, you, you can't use the formula, which is the, what, um, uh, PL uh, divided by two for lateral area on non, so it's 14 and 15, you can't use that formula because they're not regular pyramids, right? They're, um, they're uh, non-regular, just regular old pyramids, the rectangular pyramids there. So you can't use that formula there. You could independently just add up all the, the four triangles, do the, each area separately, but you couldn't use this formula because this formula assumes that all the triangles are exactly the same shape and they're not. All right, so 14 and 15, you should have you should have had issues with. Uh, I'm just noticing this problem right here. I don't know if I put those on the test. If I did on the test, um, I'll uh, I'll send you a chat right after this when I have. Well, I got to teach the next class here in a second, so I'll uh, I'll put a a message out to you if there's one on the test that isn't, and we'll just skip that one or or do it for uh, extra credit. Okay, hopefully Anna that explained the problem.